And uh, here we go. We're going to be casting a game. Oh, another 1v1. This time we are casting a match between Osgiliath, who's playing Dak, and his opponent this time will be Stanan. Stanna? Stanna? Um, and uh, any commanders selected? Yes, we have Special Operations and a Weasel straight on the map. I've been trying to do Spec Ops lately in my games as Americans. Um, but I have been finding maybe the early we Weasel hasn't really been working out too much for me. But we'll see if maybe if um, Stanna can pull it off. And Ziega's running over here. Panzer Pioneer is going straight to this fuel point. I think I might do this in the future, actually. go Because this because if the opponent manages to get this house or, or this wall here, it makes it really hard to capture this point. So if you get here first and put down some cover, you're actually going to hold on to your fuel point a bit easier. It looks like... Um, where's that scout squad going to go? It looks like he's going to go straight into that building there, maybe harass that fuel point. Motorcycle is second rather than first. Here comes the scout. A capture point is being taken from us. Will he get the decap before the Panzer Grenadiers get over there and stop it? Oh, well, they don't know if they're gonna. They want to go and stop it. Maybe the motorcycle is going to come back and stop the decap. No, looks like he's just going to let it get decapped here. Okay. Could have stopped that. Might have been worth it to bring that motorcycle back there. And then buy time for the Grenadiers to get the cap and then come over and then stop the stop the stop the decap. Can now sit now he's put the two sandbags. He could probably sit there quite comfortably and get the recap on that fuel point. We have battlefield espionage being selected from Osgilia. Let's see if he can use this well. Here comes a 250 next. There's one of the guys sitting out. There. Actually, that guy there is actually sticking out of cover. I think he's getting focused actually right now. Let's see, we've got the rifleman over there. Ooh, we've got combat engineer early as well, which is interesting. I don't want to see an early combat engineer. Location secured. Can we get back to work now? Combat engineers. Ooh, taking a lot of damage there. He's not cancelled the build. Now he has. But he's almost taken half health. Due to the, the build there. Scouts will try to get the decap, decap again, but the 250 shows up and says, Nope. No, you don't. Probably wants to retreat that. It's getting quite low. The Ruffler Squad is there to stop maybe the chase. Motorcycle right, so coming back in the fight to just do a little bit more damage on that combat engineer. American map control looking pretty good so far. What's he going to do with the motorcycle? He's just going to back away with it, is he? Maybe he's worried that he comes a weasel. Weasel being very aggressive here. Wants to chase that 250. What's he doing? Is he just back in the base and just going to heal, repair? What's he doing with that motorcycle? Here it comes. It's not, it's not, it's not going to want to fight the weasel really here. That weasel's going to get it quite quickly. 250 providing healing to that Jaeger uh, Panzer Grand squad there as well. Hands of Pioneers, where are they going to go? Are they going to try and get the house before the rifles can? I think they might be able to get it. The rifles need to vault first. No, they're going to get it first. That's surprising. I thought those, that Panzer Pioneer squad would definitely get the house before. They're going to have to retreat now. Double rifleman squad there as well. So, yeah, not looking not, not looking like a good start for Osgiliath right now. Putting a cheeky mind down as well, in case that motorcycle tries to come back and caps through that way there. Good harassment on this fuel point. Okay, there goes the 250 tech. Opting to shoot the rifles in the building first. Oh, there goes a sticky bomb. And some assault grins. This seems exactly like the same build that we saw uh, Farrick do, actually, in the last game, to be honest. Tier one up. I'll we'll drive tier two. We're taking casualties. Son of a bitch. Ruffles squad in the house. He's be careful. He's going to retreat past some assault grounds. Does he have grenades available? Doesn't look like he's going to attempt to lob them. Motorcycle has captured the VP. 
carefully. So this motorcycle is going to be super careful because, because you know, Oskidius knows that combat engineer squad was over here. So the likelihood of a mine being planted over is super high. Yeah, he's capping it carelessly. He capped that way and then that way. That's where I'd be putting mines down. He should be trying to cap from the, from the backside where there's a, less likely to be a mine. Um, so he's being very, he's being very risky with that, 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 um, that motorcycle right now. Oh, uh -oh Weasel's gonna have to get away. I think he won't be able to get chased down by that 250. No, he's still gonna, he's gonna keep it in the fight still. Like, was he gonna chase it? It's risky. If he chases, he won't be able to get away. He needs to get back away now and quickly. He's going to probably get snared here. He's not quickly. Yeah, he's going to get around. Yes, nice. Good micro death from Mosgirth. Stopping him. Those rifles get in range of getting a sticky bomb off. The mine going down in a good location. Let's see. He's got access to maybe a Panzer or something. What's he calling? He's going for. He's going to go for the Panzer Jaegers. Probably a good idea. Oh, sticky bomb has landed onto the motorcycle. Motorcycle was activated. It's repairs. It's gonna survive. Victory point lost. Territory locked down. Open up, hunt the grenadiers. This is Panzer. Yeah, you're gonna go try and maybe catch the weasel here. Round incoming. Here it comes. Oh, we only need really maybe one or two volleys here. They get. Oh, they go. They get it. One volley was enough. And he just took the 250 as well on it. It's double 250. And has he? He's yeah, He went for the espionage. Dude, that motorcycle was so close to that mine. I think it's going to get hit by that mine. He, he He's either going to go left or right here to get away. Oh, it turned on the spot and ran away. Okay. Those bastards ain't getting me. Why is chat playing bananas in the? Why are we seeing bananas in the chat? I was watching Zulu's stream a little bit last night. And people were spamming the monkey emote. So is it got to do? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it like a, an in joke that I'm not getting? Monkeys and bananas. Rifleman squad going around the side here to try and get a sticky bomb. Is there a follow through? It's not really, so it's not really worth it here to get the sticky bomb off. If there's no follow through, there is a Greyhound in the build. He jumps out the Panzer Pioneers to help get a little bit of extra DPS there. Well, that mine has been spotted. Because he did have sweepers on that. He might want to go and sweep that. Yes, there we go. You know, I was going to go sweep it before he goes and gets the repairs on. Greyhound making a dive onto the rifles. Again, if a sticky bomb is not really worth it landing on here, you just waste your munitions if you can't really get the wipe. And he's only just, he's got, just got no munitions left, actually, at this point. Another mine's been spotted. Oh, the Greyhound is going for the um, the 250. Can he get away? Greyhound's chasing. One more shot needed. Probably just a machine gun will do it. He hasn't actually taken the machine gun. Can he get away? He's going to curve around the building here. Attack around maybe through the hedgerow. I don't think he needs to. That should be a dead 250. It missed. But he gets it anyway. What do we have? Look at this crazy play. He's going to jump in the base. A bit slow to jump out with the assault, Grens. Lobs grenades. Again, a bit, I think that's a waste of lob grenades when he could have just, you know, zapped down the, the low health squad then. Not the best dismount in the base. I like the idea, but... Um, and then the machine gun from the base is probably going to finish off the 250. Is he going to get away? Oh, just about. Oh, no, we've got an 8 red just chilling over here. Marring the view. Greyhound, I don't think the Greyhound saw it. Hey, right, could probably get some rare armor shots on this with the Panzerjägers getting in some shots as well here. Here we go, 8 red's going to shoot in. It's getting a little bit of damage in. Needs to chase. Ooh, who's going to win? 8-Rad versus Greyhound. I think the 8-Rad might do it. Oh, but there's an AT gun there suddenly. I know it. Oh, he does get the kill on the Greyhound. AT gun should try and attack around through the hedgerow, but he doesn't. And we have another 8-Rad. Territory lost. 
Motorcycle got that marked target, making quick work of the scout squad. Oh, is he going to get away? Rifles might just be able to kill it with, with their right, with their, uh, yeah, M1 Garands here. If they get a lucky pen round, maybe no? Not like it. Eight Rad could have got that easy wipe on the scout squad, but he's not microed it very well there to chase down that squad. So that, that's a, that was an easy wipe. Wasted. Got a second Greyhound being produced. Rather than a brand new one to replace the first one that went down. Captain kind of unsupported in the center. Guess this 8 Red wants to try and chase down this Rifleman squad first. That Rifleman squad over there on, on that VP is also quite low. There's the AT gun. It's coming up and here comes a Greyhound as well. I think this Greyhound has received upgrades. Second AT gun in the build here. the best of angles. Oh no, maybe. He might be able to get shot in here against that uh, A Red. It does. Panzi is there to cover. ET so, Gun's not got the best angle on this spot still. He needs to try and back away. Looks like this other, this fresh 8 Rad wants to try and push in. Enemy forces have taken our territory. 50 over here. is going to jump out. Chase down that squad. Yeah, good thing about keeping the motorcycle alive still. We've got a third 8 rat in the build, actually, from Osgiliath. That's, uh... Is that too much? Is it too much? What do we think? Well, he's gone for this commander, but he's not actually got, a, you know, got any of the abilities and stuff for it. Yeah, let's have a look at what he could go for. Maybe uh, Intel Beacon, Subterfuge, something like that, maybe. You know, if he's going for this, like, armoured play, he probably should have gone the armoured commander, to be fair. Oh, sticky bomb as well. It will be a damage engine on the 8 rad. Probably won't be able to kill it. Oh, don't get caught repairing there. The enemy has 300 points. These repairs on these Greyhounds. Did he go infantry or mechanized? That is infantry, so he's not got any repairs here. He's, he had to... Is that a fr I think that's a fresh combat engineer. Did he have to rebuy that? I think he lost one, didn't he, earlier? Gun opening up here, slow to react. So Skilliath backing away. Fourth eight rad in the build. How the hell did you make me? Honestly, if he, he, if he went armor and went for um, increased penetration, these these uh, eight rads, and then he went for the tungsten ammunition. Hang on, let me just. Put, uh, I need to figure this out real quick. Does tungsten buff up eight rad ammunition? We have taken the advantage. Does the tungsten? Increase the penetration of all tanks and autocans, so it will, yeah. So, yeah, he could go for that. Oh, he has already upgraded it as well. That's great. Okay, so he has gone for it. So that's, that's huge, especially with these eight rads. So he's going to more likely penetrate these greyhounds. So he needs to try and get start making something happen with, with this mass amount of light vehicles he's got. Maybe two eight rads round from here, and then two round from the other side. Munitions. Stannis hardly got any munitions. He's got 10 income for munitions right now. So you can't really get through a lot of many sticky bombs or put any more mines down. Especially when you think of the Greyhounds. When you get a new Greyhound out, you, you, it costs you quite a lot to upgrade it, munitions-wise. to So it's, uh, you know, combat ready. She might be better off going for a Chaffee. You know, she, that doesn't require any munitions upgrades. So then you could put more mines down. Right, there we go. I was getting exercise to quickly select loads of stuff. So he's gone for plunder. He's got access to Firestorm. I guess Firestorm could be good for the on the anti-tank guns when he goes for a big dive in here. Looks like we have a play going in. We have a fresh 250 being called in with Panzer Jaegers inside. Here we go. Diving in. He really could do with some smoke, but he's just going to commit here. Here comes the Firestorm. Here comes the dive. 
Here comes the huge armor push. He's diving straight forward. He's constantly pushing forward here. 180 gun decrewed. Still all the Axis vehicles are alive. There goes one. 18 red dies over there. He says he move forward, Bills. If you're still getting shot there, bit careless there. But to lose 18 red to maybe take out and steal two anti tank guns is a huge win, I would say. Grenade right on top of the Panzer Jaegers. Oh, that's a good grenade there from that rifleman squad. Now he needs to wipe these AT guns or steal them. Rifleman squad might be able to wipe one of these Panzer Jaegers on retreat, maybe. Should have jumped out here and started shooting from the side here. Oh, he's trying to steal. He's trying to go for the steal. He's going to get it as well, I think. He's stealing it with the 250s. Love it. <laughs> Great play there from Osgiliath. He's like, I'll have them. And he, he runs away and steals both those American anti-tank guns. And uh, he'll be able to pop the heels probably from one of these 250s as well and get his army back up to full strength. So that was a huge win. Um, did we, The Greyhounds both survived, but yeah, it was one, I think it was a 8 red. Yeah, one 8 red died. Hang on, how many 8 reds we got left? Wait, he had... He had four eight reds. So actually, this wait, where did where did we see other eight reds go down? I saw one go down there. Oh yeah, one went down here. One went down there. Where did the second one go go down? There was another, so he had three eight reds die because he had four in total. So yeah, I think we saw two die. We missed one that died probably off screen. So so sorry, I missed that. But okay, three eight reds for two AT guns. Remember, you, you know, you probably lose two AT guns and you gain two AT guns. So that's kind of pretty decent. We do have a chaffy now in the bill. Yeah, the firestorm damage doesn't actually do... Isn't probably one of the... Yeah, it's not the best off maps, to be fair. Because that AT gun was there firing and got a kill on one of those eight rads. Quite a while while it was in that fire. Well, so what's uh, Oskiliath going to do? Is he going to keep building eight rads now? Keep the pressure going? American players got back up to two AT guns again. He's recruited both these American anti-tank guns. Motorcycle, where's that going? Oh, he's, he's going to try to dive the captain. Here comes a chaffy. Grenades here on the captain. The captain dry, jumps out the right side of the church. Motorcycle running away before the Greyhound. Oh, it's another Greyhound, though. Oh, he, he hit him. Oh, I think that was a, a, a little splash shot. I didn't actually hit him fully. Greyhound not in a good spot to chase. He's going to get away. There goes the motorcycle. Vet 2 and surviving. So, yeah, that round that it said rear armor hit kind of hit the ground near the rear side of that. So, it actually wasn't a proper hit on it. Nade. Well dodged there from Osgiliath. Let's see, Osgiliath's got 51 fuel now. Has he teched up? He is teching up to tier 4. Here we have double Greyhounds going. One's quite low. Oh, that motorcycle's just sitting there. Oh, motorcycle, you got to run, buddy. AT guns are both going to turn around here. Motorcycle. Dude, that motorcycle is super durable. Dude, it's, hit, it's getting hit at least directly twice by two grounds and still alive. Meanwhile, Chaffee tries to make a play on the right. Motorcycle's still alive somehow. American Rifleman Squad might wipe this soul on an anti-tank gun. Chaffee still wants to push forward here. It's going to get shot twice by AT guns. One goes down. Everybody's burning in the center. Here come the two Greyhounds coming back into the fight here. Oh, they're getting hurt here. Here comes a sticky bomb. One of these Greyhounds is going to die here. Chaffee gets in the base. Gets the kill on one of the eight rads. And Chaffee needs to survive. Oh, the other Greyhound goes down. He didn't need to keep committing to that fight. And now this other American anti tank is going to get decrewed by this uh, Panzergren that's still on the field here. Oh, but there was a cheeky Panzerjäger squad on the retreat path of the Chaffee. So that goes down as well. Damn, this motorcycle. I don't know how it survived that. Utility vehicle here. No, don't do it again. It's even going to try and fight this uh, AT gun. Ha <laughs> it missed. Can I get one more shot off? And I missed again. I'll do this AT gun. This uh, 
This Martin Crash institution has got nine lives, I swear. Oh, he's used plunder. Just, just gain something on that rifleman there. What did that gain? He gained himself a G43 for those for that squad. Oh, we have some SSF commandos coming out. No, coming out from the base. And we're we have Panzer three now. So all the American AT guns are likely to get stole. Oh no, he actually managed to grab one of his AT guns back. He's, this one looks like I think that's if he's going to come over and tow that back to base. Enemy. There's no more American armor on the field, but it's worth probably just taking these AT guns, keeping in the base, and then recruiting them as and when needed. Oh, a motorcycle hit some. Look, did he hit mine and survive as well? What is up with this motorcycle? What is Vet 2? Does it give more health at Vet 2 or something? What is up with that? Grenade over here. Easy dodged. Oh, it's a mine. That Panzer 3. Motorcycle, can it get. Oh, he manages to repair the critical. It's going to survive. And we finally see a med vehicle, a med truck being built by Osgiliath. Um, does he really need that? He still has to. Oh, did he lose one of his two? He lost one of his 250s, so he's not going to be able to have as many he heals in the base, I guess. Let's see what you're made of. men have completed their order. A victory point is being taken from us. Let's have a look to see if Falskiliath has got, um, has he upgraded? Okay, he has got emergency repair kits as well, which is very useful. Another sticky bomb, but no follow through, so it's a bit of a waste of munitions there. If they're chasing down the scout squad, there is a Panzer Pioneer on their trick path as well. VP is down, past 173 for Stanner. Definitely feel like Oscar is in a commanding position. What's he going up to go for now? Oh, he's got an, uh, an STG now on one of his uh, assault grins. Savaging his 8 rad in his base. Can he, he might even get like the the, uh, the the recovery truck. I mean, he can recover this chaffy here. He could have recovered that uh, the eight rad with, with it maybe as well. There's probably some more vehicles around he could probably get. Yeah, he's going to recover this um, this Greyhound wreckage and get himself a bazooka for that uh, that unit. The firestorm is ready. He drops it. Bit of a waste. He's burning himself. <laughs> Keep moving. You're still in the fire there, Osgiliath. AT gun. He's only got the one AT gun. Still got no tech here. Is he going to save up for a uh, whiz bang? A fuel for it. Yes, if he gets wet, vet one on the whiz bang, he can then jettison the launch. Then he's got basically a Sherman. But okay, let's look for another. What's it? No, another Panzer three here for Osgiliath. That's a lot of American. He's actually recruited all those AT guns now. Thing is, the more vehicle units you own, the the lower your manpower income is going to be. So he's only getting 200 manpower every minute, whereas Stanner's actually getting an extra 36 on top of his 200 uh, because he's got less less units. And it, there's not really any vehicles on the field right now. So actually recruiting all these, maybe having one as as like you know, 
Maybe Maybe some insurance. By actually recurring all these AT guns, it's probably a bad idea for us. It's actually lowering his manpower income. So yeah, it was probably not a good idea to recruit all those AT guns. It's not needed, it's just eating into his population cap and his manpower upkeep. Yeah, so these AT guns, I, I bet you will really should do nothing now. Artillery batteries are on standby. They request orders. Once artillery is engaged. Up against SF commandos. Control of a victory point. You know. I guess he's got the anti tank and sentry munitions. Which is going to buff them all. I wonder if the American AT guns benefit from it. Will I get that bonus? I feel like um, Oscar is being a bit too passive right now. He has the commanding, you know, the better army, you know, the commanding presence with all these vehicles. He needs to try and push and get some pressure on. And the the map control is still kind of 50-50, even with his huge lead. He needs to be way more aggressive, make some plays for the cutoffs here and draw, dominate the victory point control. Why he has his commanding le lead in units and, uh, you know, tech advantage. Nice. Oh, ah. We have the upper hand. Keep. They've taken our victory point. There's grenades in there. Comes a chaffy now. Even a chaffy though, like, is not going to do much against double pans of three. Well, they do get that burning ammunition. You just saw it there. Shaffer getting stuck on terrain here. There's only one AT gun. It's not going to be enough. I think we might see game here, boys. If the Panzer threes are charging forward, they're going to try and dive in on the AT gun. Wipe the SFs on retreat here. Did you do any stop for a second? Shaffer's trying to do help, help a little bit here. It's nice to see the Chaffee trying to get involved, though. It's only like two shots away from death. Chaffee goes, is diving in. A bit too greedy here, but the Chaffee maybe might be able to get the kill on one of these Panzer threes here. He does. And he's disengaged. He managed to pick that off. So Panzer three, bit, bit, bit too eager there. Oh, well, the Chaffee, the Chaffee finally gets the kill on that motorcycle on the, on the left-hand side. But I think it's a bit too little too late right now. Only AA victory points remain a triple cap in effect against uh, Stana. He needs the victory points right now to stop the drain. And he can't, he's not really got any kind of units here that can stop. Can't really grab the middle with all these units here. Rushing over this four-man squad to grab the VP on the left. Sorkman's doing pretty well. A couple of grenades coming in here. Oh, one last grenade's gonna do a bit of damage there. Is that gonna be enough? Oh. SSF. Get the wounded out of there. 49 VPs. Look, boys, fresh food. A squad of SSF commandos. Let's run another squad of SSF. I'll try and cap mid. Probably in vain here. He might be able to stop the drain if he can get... I think he's going to get the decap here just about. He needs to do every unit now in the mid. Leaves this squad here to cover that. Here comes a Panzer IV with a squad. That's the, yeah, They're going to be able to dominate the left side. I think this is game, man. There's no way Stanner can come back from this. I really don't think he's got a chance in hell, really. The men are faltering. We're down to 25 points. Where's that coming? Here we go, and he's swap over to his right. Johnson's, here we go. Oh, a nice nade there, but he's getting naded himself. And he's not paying attention to it, so he's going to eat most of those nades there. Shafi super low. He wants to try and get shot in against the Panzer IV, maybe. 
That SFF dies. Rifles in the center are about to go down. 250 wants to kill on the maybe. Oh, that was a mine on the. I guess that squad there. What do we see? Chaffee guys down to the Panzer IV. He's going to get the flank around on this last anti tank gun here. And, uh, yep, that's GG. Stanner loses. And Oskilith takes the win. GG. And, uh, yeah, I think that game. I was, it's interesting, yeah, it's a very strong build is Galiaf picked. I th feel like, though, yeah, he needed to be more aggressive later on. He was so ahead, he could have, he probably could have ended that sooner. Uh, like I say, don't recruit, recruit those AT guns, apart from maybe one AT gun. Recruit was fine, but the other two didn't need to because it was eating into his population cap and his manpower income. Um, what, I, what else what I've suggested here from him? Maybe something with smoke. I mean, his unit, his vehicles can pop smoke, but he could have had like he could have converted one of the tier fifties to a mortar ha um, um, a uh, mortar half track to smoke out the anti tank gun. So when he makes that dive, those anti guns are blinded, so they can't shoot. Uh, or maybe even call in the LEIG earlier with a two fifty, and then convert that two fifty into a standard two fifty nine. Um, But yeah, I was good. Oh, well, you're, you're watching. How you doing? Do you, but yeah, do you do you agree that like you know you don't you, yeah recruiting all these AT guns? You don't, yeah, you, uh, you see how much that ate into your population cap, or rather your your manpower income, right? So like when, when your point has no AT gun, no armor on the field, there's no point. Like leave, leaving him in the base and it would would have been much better because then you could you could recruit him anytime, right? So you'd be you'd have been fine, and then you'd be able to have more manpower to call on more stuff. But yeah, it was a bit, um, yeah, I think, you know, when you did that first big dive, you let, got, you lost one of your eight reds carelessly here to this one that you didn't finish, that one that was turning on you. You could have pushed a bit further forward and, the, and then you wouldn't have lost one of your eight reds. Um, what else? Anything else to point out? I think you. I think you dived all your vehicles through the center as well. You could have had maybe you know a couple maybe come around the flank or something. You know, rather you know that big push. Hmm. And your commander choice was strange as well. Like you didn't really. You apart from maybe the anti tank and sentry munitions, you did get a use of a bit of utility at plunder. But I think if you'd gone armor and earlier game gone for the um the armor penetration on the eight rads, because you went you went for the tungsten ammunition. But if you'd gone for like the um. Increased penetration from the armor commander. That might have helped you some more then. And also the firestorm was shit. Firestorm like felt like it was terrible. It didn't really give you that great. You'd probably be better off getting I mean in a kind of off map to be honest. Maybe going getting yourself the tractor out from your base or from one of your, your early build buildings and then having that drop off that because you could hide it behind any of these buildings here and that could have dropped RT on the AT guns and forced them to put maneuver. And then you would have also had smoke as well to smoke out the AT guns before you went for your dive. Now for the American player, I don't know, man. Like Dak seems to be really hard to beat right now as Americans. Um uh yeah, I don't know, man, what you do. You just gotta like cause you if you you need to save your sticky bombs. I noticed Stanat was lobbing his sticky bombs constantly every chance he got an opportunity to do so, but he, then he had no follow-through, so it was kind of like wasting his missions because, you, you know, as an act, you could just repair the, the damage when you get a sticky bomb, right? You need to be able to make sure that when you spend munitions on a sticky bomb, you're getting a kill. Um, but yeah, um, I was going to say the answer is armor. Maybe. I guess you get the vehicles out quicker. You get the veterans you want on your armor. So you play what with Chaffee, Greyhound Tech, and then call in Grey and call in Easy Eights late game. We did just see that from Reekly, who did beat Ferric. But it was more of a case that Ferric kind of did really bad push, I would say pushes overall, and didn't put many mines down covering his flanks when the Shermans came in. Um but yeah, when I'm playing when I play Dak, I'll try this commander this build out. So what is it? Motorcycle. You only get one Panzergren as well. You get one Panzergren. I normally always get two, but you went one Panzergren, motorcycle, 250, then into eight rads. Then you get four eight rads. 99s. Mm. I don't know. I'm just trying to think what you would do. Like, I guess you could go bazookas with like paratroopers or SFF, but they're so costly to reinforce. 
I guess if you go mech, like you could go WSC and go for the 80 half track with maybe like a paratrop anti-tank gun with bazookas on paratroopers that that might try to do something but i'm not sure if that's good enough i just said let's see wait hey dexon want to play twos yeah can do if you want 80 half yeah it does get killed quite quickly and i feel like 80 half tracks like martyrs and stuff they tend to miss a lot more than they hit Right, they they're not very accurate. I mean, yeah, I mean, I tried to go like WSC, like Pathfinders, but and then two Paratroopers into like uh, AT half drag. That was that didn't work. I felt like you need to go like Barracks then WSC and you have rifles with it to do well. Anyway, let's uh, let's have a look at the match stats there. Oh yeah, look at Osgiliath got such a good KD there, like double the amount of kills leading stat every time we see these games here both games we've casted even the even with ferric losing he did have almost like a double kd on his opponent because he's just like chewing through that Amer those riflemen uh with those eight rads and the 259s so i need to i need to figure out what you do what do you do as americans against that uh, the early vehicle pressure So guys, that's the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did and want more content, check up over here and over here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, make sure to click the button down here. Catch you in the next video, guys. Take care. And I'll see you soon.